Hey there, health warriors. Ever wondered what the best cuts of meat are for a carnivore diet? Welcome back to our channel where we serve up delicious knowledge about all things meat. Today, we're embarking on an epic culinary journey, exploring the top 10 meat cuts for the ultimate carnivore diet. From sizzling steaks to slow-cooked roasts, we'll be delving into the flavors, textures, and unique qualities that make each cut of meat a carnivore's delight. But before we sink our teeth into this delectable topic, please consider subscribing to our channel, giving us a thumbs up, and sharing your thoughts in the comments section. Your support helps us continue to bring you more content just like this. So, grab your steak knives and napkins, because we're about to embark on a mouth-watering exploration of the finest meats fit for a carnivore's palate. Without further ado, let's dive into the top 10 meat cuts for the ultimate carnivore diet. First up, we have the ribeye, a favorite among steak enthusiasts. Ribeye is known for its rich marbling, which is the fat dispersed within the meat. This marbling is the secret behind its exceptional flavor. When cooked, the fat melts and infuses the steak, creating an intense, mouth-watering flavor that's hard to resist. The ribeye is a cut of meat that comes from the rib section of a cow, hence the name. It's a boneless cut, which makes it easy to cook and even easier to eat. But what really sets the ribeye apart is its perfect balance. It offers a harmony of flavor, tenderness, and juiciness that's unparalleled, making it an exquisite choice for any meat lover. And here's a fun fact for you. Did you know that the ribeye is often considered the king of steaks because of its balance of flavor and tenderness? Next, we have the filet mignon, an incredibly tender and lean cut. This cut is the darling of the steak world. It is known for its buttery texture that just melts in your mouth, making every bite a sumptuous delight. But have you ever wondered why the filet mignon is often the most expensive cut on the menu? Well, it all comes down to supply and demand. The filet mignon is cut from the tenderloin, a muscle that does very little work. This means it is incredibly tender, but it also means there's not much of it to go around. Only about 2% of the total weight of a cow can be cut into filet mignon. So the scarcity of this cut combined with its high demand and the labor involved in its preparation all contribute to its hefty price tag. Stay tuned to find out why it's often the most expensive cut on the menu. Now, let's talk about the T-bone steak, a cut that gives you the best of both worlds. If you're looking for a steak that truly offers it all, the T-bone steak is your ticket. This cut is like a two-in-one package offering a piece of tenderloin on one side and a strip steak on the other. It's like getting two steaks for the price of one. The T-bone is known for its unique shape, which is, you guessed it, shaped like a T. This T-shaped bone separates the two different types of meat, each with its own distinct texture and flavor. Because of this, the T-bone steak is incredibly versatile, making it a favorite among meat lovers and chefs alike. Whether you like your steak tender and lean or full of flavor, the T-bone steak has got you covered. It's a cut that truly embodies the phrase, the best of both worlds. The T-bone steak gets its name from the T-shaped bone that runs through it. Following closely is the porterhouse steak, a larger version of the T-bone. This cut doesn't shy away from the limelight, boasting a generous chunk of tenderloin that sets it apart. You see, both the T-bone and porterhouse are cut from the short loin, and both feature a T-shaped bone with meat on both sides. However, the main difference lies in the size of the tenderloin portion. In a porterhouse, the tenderloin is significantly larger, making it a meat lover's dream. On one side, you have the robust, full-bodied flavor of the strip steak. On the other, a hefty portion of buttery tenderloin that simply melts in your mouth. It's a combination that's hard to resist, and it's no wonder the porterhouse is often regarded as the king of the T-bones. But wait, there's more to this story. We'll cover soon what differentiates a porterhouse from a T-bone. So stick around. The journey through this carnivorous paradise is just getting started. The New York Strip is a classic, known for its fine texture and bold flavor. This cut of meat is an all-time favorite among steak aficionados. It's a cut that boasts a balance of tenderness and a rich, beefy flavor that's hard to resist. The New York Strip is a cut from the short loin from a muscle that does little work. This lack of exercise results in a tender piece of meat, making it a perfect choice for a high heat cooking method like grilling or broiling. Now let's talk about the name. The New York Strip, despite its name, might make you think it originated from the bustling streets of New York, but that's not the case. 
the term New York Strip was coined by restaurateurs who wanted to attribute this fine cut of meat to a city known for its sophisticated palate. Despite its name, the New York Strip didn't originate in New York. Intriguing, right? Sirloin steaks are versatile and full of flavor. This cut of meat is a favorite for many, and for good reason. It's a tender, juicy, and flavorful cut that can be cooked in a myriad of ways. But did you know that the sirloin is actually divided into two parts? That's right, there's a top sirloin and a bottom sirloin. The top sirloin is the more prized of the two. It's lean, meaty, and has a great beefy flavor. It's perfect for grilling, broiling, or even roasting. And then we have the bottom sirloin. It's a bit tougher than the top sirloin, but it's still full of flavor. It's often used in roasts, stews, and for ground beef. So the next time you're at the butcher's, remember, not all sirloin is created equal. The difference between the top sirloin and the bottom sirloin might surprise you. Next, we have brisket, a favorite for slow cooking and smoking. This cut of meat is unique in its toughness, but don't let that dissuade you. With patience and the right cooking techniques, it transforms into a tender, mouth-watering delight. Imagine the brisket nestled in a smoker or slow cooker, the heat and smoke working their magic. Over time, the tough fibers break down and the flavors intensify, creating a dish that is nothing short of a culinary masterpiece. This transformation is precisely why brisket is a darling in the world of barbecue. It's the cut that pitmasters and barbecue enthusiasts reach for when they want to showcase their skills. Whether it's a backyard cookout or a professional barbecue competition, brisket often takes center stage, stealing the show with its juicy, smoky goodness. Brisket is a tough cut of meat that becomes incredibly tender when cooked low and slow. It's the star of many barbecue competitions. Flank steak is lean and flavorful. It's one of those cuts that, when prepared correctly, can truly sing on the plate. With a unique texture that's both tender and fibrous, it's a cut that holds up incredibly well to various cooking methods. Now, you may have noticed, flank steak is often the star in dishes like fajitas and stir fries. Ever wonder why? Well, it's all about how this particular cut interacts with flavors and heat. See, the lean nature of flank steak means it absorbs marinades exceptionally well, making it a prime candidate for bold, spicy, or sweet flavor profiles. Think fajitas with their smoky, spicy allure. Moreover, the steak's texture allows it to handle high heat cooking like grilling or stir frying without drying out or becoming tough. It sears beautifully, creating a flavorful crust while preserving a juicy interior. Ever wondered why it's often used in fajitas and stir fries? The answer lies in its unique texture and flavor profile. Skirt steak is another favorite for its rich flavor and quick cooking time. This long flat cut is prized for its robust beefy essence. It's not the most tender steak you'll grill, but what it lacks in tenderness, it more than makes up for in taste. Skirt steak has a loose grain and ample fat, allowing it to soak up marinades brilliantly. A quick sear on a hot grill, and you've got a steak with a crusty exterior and a juicy interior. Now, let's head south of the border. In Mexican cuisine, skirt steak is the superstar of the show, the champion of carne asada. Carne asada, which means grilled meat in Spanish, typically features thinly sliced, marinated skirt steak sizzled to perfection on a blazing grill. It's then often served with tortillas and a smorgasbord of accompaniments. So the next time you're craving a taste of Mexico, remember that skirt steak is often the cut of choice for authentic carne asada in Mexican cuisine. Last but not least, we have the chuck roast, perfect for slow cooked meals. The chuck roast is not just any cut. It's a cut with character, versatility, and when cooked right, a whole lot of flavor. Originating from the shoulder area of the animal, this cut carries a robust, beefy flavor that's hard to resist. Now, you might be wondering, what makes the chuck roast so versatile? The answer lies in its texture and flavor. Slow cooking this cut breaks down the connective tissue, transforming it into a tender, melt-in-your-mouth delight. It's a cut that's perfect for pot roasts, but it doesn't stop there. Chuck roast is also a superstar in hearty stews, and it's the secret behind many flavorful shredded beef recipes. Did you know that chuck roast comes from the shoulder area and can be used in a variety of dishes from pot roasts to stews? It's a cut that truly takes you on a culinary adventure. Before we wrap up, as a bonus, 
Let's talk about the Tomahawk, a showstopper in the world of steaks. This cut is not just any steak, it's a bone-in ribeye, and its most distinctive feature is its Frenched bone, which gives it the appearance of a tomahawk axe. This is where it gets its name. The tomahawk's large size and bone make it perfect for slow roasting, ideal for a hearty meal for two. This cut isn't just about its size, though. The bone enhances the flavor of the steak during the cooking process, adding a depth of flavor that's hard to beat. So the next time you're planning a dinner and want to impress, remember the tomahawk. It's not just a steak, it's an experience. It's a cut that's sure to make a statement at any dinner party. And remember, good things come to those who wait, and the tomahawk is certainly worth the wait. So that's it, a true carnivore's dream. Each cut with its own story, its own unique flavor and texture profile. So why not embark on a culinary adventure and try out these cuts for yourself? Perhaps you'll discover a new favorite or reaffirm your love for a classic cut. And remember, we're always eager to hear your thoughts. So share your experiences, your favorites, and perhaps even your secret cooking tips. Let's create a community of meat lovers, sharing and learning from each other's experiences. Until next time, keep grilling and chilling.